this is an unboxing of the 1541 Ultimate 2, which I purchased from 1541ultimate.net. Actually, I've kind of already opened it because I didn't know what it was. Um, but here it is. Here's what's in the contents. This isn't quite what I was expecting. But this is the the Ultimate, 1541 Ultimate right here. I was expecting this to be um, packaged a little differently. Or this, this part at least put together a little differently. Inside the box is um, the cable. And also it came with a set of instructions. which I will trust out in a minute. And this handy dandy SD card, micro SDHC. So this plugs into the cartridge slot of the Commodore 64. And it should allow us to play games or load the, um, the ROMs onto the system. Hello, what I have here is the Commodore 64 1541 Ultimate 2 interface. What it is, is essentially it's a cartridge. You can plug into your Commodore 64, it emulates a 1541 disk drive very accurately. It's a really um, incredible piece of hardware. What, what you do here is you, you uh, you just simply plug it into your Commodore 64 into the cartridge slot and you utilize either the USB port right here or the SD slot. And it's sort of difficult to get your SD card in and out of there. Uh, I happen to use a set of fingernail clippers to do that. To uh, You need a sharp edge or, or you need long fingernails. Just kind of turning around the cartridge you have the serial interface right here that plugs into the Commodore 64 and you have a uh, mic or a, a jack here for speakers and that will play the sounds coming out of to emulate the 1541 disk drive what the what it used to sound like or what it does sound like and then what you also have here is a little interface adapter that plugs into the tape uh, slot in the back of the Commodore 64 so you can emulate .tap files. This this can be removed I'm yanking that out so you can have that if you don't need to emulate tapes you just throw it back in. Okay so here's the little micro USB card it plugs in with the with the pins facing up and you have to be careful throwing that in and that's about as far as I can plug it in without a little bit of assistance so I'll take the end of a paper fingernail clip throw it all the way in it clicks in once it's in well, we're gonna go ahead and plug that into the Commodore Plug this in. Plug in the serial interface. Plug in my speakers. Plug in the tape interface. There we go. Okay, so it's all plugged up. And I'm going to turn on the Commodore 64. Do you hear that? That's the emulation of the tapes. I have it set for action replay. Um, I'll go over the settings here. If you press the middle button on the card, you go, it takes you into the menu. 
From here you can hit the right arrow cursor key and that will take you onto the contents of your SD card and you can you can use arrow down, arrow up, you can use F7 to page down, F1 to page up, so if we go into one one of my directories, and I can hit page down by hitting F7, F1 to page up. You can also type the name, the first few letters, um, let's try one way down, like burning rubber, so burning rubber. Come up here, B-U-R, it goes to bureaucracy, B-U-R-N, burning rubber. Now to pop up a folder, you, you do left arrow key, shift, cursor, pops you up one. You pop back up, you go all the way there to the, to the main menu. There's a menu system that you can get to by hitting shift, F1, and that'll take you into the settings and you can go we can go into each of these the clock right now I have it set to today's date and time you can go in here up arrow down arrow shift left arrow to change and then if you need to pop up from here you use run stop shift up one go back in the USB settings which I don't intend to uh, change the audio output settings for um, the hard drives and I don't pretend to know everything about this device but I do know enough to load the basic games and um, to get this thing running efficiently so one of the things I like to show is running a game so what you can do let's 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 try a Miss Pac-Man. So you go in here and M, page down, enter. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. You can do run disk, or you can mount the disk and then run it by typing in commands. So let's let's just do the run disk. And when you do the mount or the run, the mountain run like this, it does not use the fast loader, so it, it emulates the same speed as the 1541. And eventually, it comes up with the with the crack screen demo scene screen. Now to interrupt the game, push the middle button and I'll show you what we can do to load it much faster and that is to load the fast loader. So to do that, so what you do, we're going to power on the unit, you come into this menu, I'm using action replay, you hit F7 to load the fast loader push the middle button find find your ROM in this case we're going to do Miss Pac-Man I'm hitting F7 page down to it oops I blew it there F7 Mount disk, F1, enter. It's a little shortcut you can do to start it. It loads much faster using the fast loader. The other way it took about 45 seconds to get to this screen right here. So let me explain a little bit what I meant when I said I'm using the fast loader, the action replay version. 
When I first got the cartridge, the, the 1541 Ultimate 2, the first option here, Action Replay 5.0 NTSC, wasn't selected. It was on a PAL version of this. Um, I'll show you. These are all the different ones. And it, it was on not that one, but the PAL version. Where is it? I think I passed it. That one. It was on Retro Replay version 3.8 PAL. And even the NTC, NTSC version, I'll show, I'll demonstrate. of the retro replay. Once you set it, you hit run stop, turn it off, turn it on, and we'll activate it'll, it'll activate that wrong. So now you see it says Cyberpunk's retro replay on the top. You can hit F7 to install the fast load. Push the middle button to go to your SD card, load a ROM. And if we stick with what we were doing with uh, Miss Pac-Man, just for an example. mount the disk, F1, enter. Instead of just loading and running, for some reason, I haven't figured it out, it does this press play on tape situation. So I couldn't get it to work. However, when I, the, the only change I made on this was to switch this in the, comp, in the C64 Ultimate um, cartridge settings right here. I switched this to action replay. Hit run stop, off, on, and now we're in the action replay menu. Then I can load the fast loader. One of the um, uh, best ways to demonstrate how much faster it was, I thought, was to use uh, a game that takes a long time to load. Um, an example that I uh, use is Below the Root. So if we mount the disk, F1, enter, it will load that disk. This literally takes two minutes. Um, with the fast loader, I timed it, it takes 30 seconds. So it's significantly faster. It does clear the screen, or yeah, clear the screen while it's loading, hitting the drive. But it's significantly faster and well worth doing. So it took two minutes to get to this point right here. And with the fast loader, it only takes 30 seconds. So that's um, four times as fast. It's very, very impressive. Hitting the middle button, Shift F1 to get into the menus. There are a lot of settings and configurations in here. And I don't pretend to know all of them. I know enough just to load um, most of the games and um, use the fast load interface. But let's let's see. You have the capability. Let's look at in some of these in the user interface settings. You can change the look right here of the background color, or the border color, and stuff like that. You can change your drive, the drive ROM. You have a bunch of settings in there. You can switch around the bus ID. And the menu that came with the system, or the menu, but the instruction guide was very, um, very short. Um, it doesn't describe or go through all these settings. But you can go to 1541ultimate.net to look up more information regarding these menu settings. So I'm on the insert side too. And you just select side two right there, mount it, hit the space bar. And there you go, below the root started. Pushing the right, far right button, the third button, will 
reset the system back to your as if you turned the cartridge off or the, the Commodore off and on. I'm not sure what configure memory does. When you press it, it just goes into <laughs> into the regular Commodore 64 mode. It has normal reset, which essentially does the same thing. And there's some utilities here, which I don't know, not sure what why you would use those. If you, I guess if you wanted to create disks and format and stuff like that. Um, there's the tape interface also. But I pretty much, I only use this menu right here. Shift left arrow to go up. There, the, um, the unit also has the capability of playing SID music. Which I haven't actually tried, but I'm gonna try it now. This is pretty cool, it has a SID player built right in. And then one last uh, thing I wanted to show you is that from the menu system, shift. if you do have cartridge ROMs, you can go in and pick a cartridge like Load Runner, run it. And it loads almost instantaneously. It's really a this is really a terrific um, cartridge, and I highly recommend it. It's it's great, and it revitalizes my interest in the Commodore 64. And I highly recommend it to everyone.